Right, I've built it again. Third time lucky, I think. I've tidied it up quite a bit. Got the volume. Main tune, fine tune, and regeneration control. I made a makeshift speaker box to have an old power supply. Sounds quite good. I'm really excited about this. Put myself an aerial on it. A little telescopic whip. I've got some hot, hot glue. Made sure everything was secured in place so nothing wobbled about. It causes that annoying what well, squiddly noise. But I'm really pleased with it. There's the uh, poor man's fine tune. Bonjour à tous. Et François Xavier Boulet à l'antenne dans notre studio culinaire, bien évidemment. Yeah, poor man's varia. It works really well as well. Don't seem to pick up much during the daytime. But at night it comes alive. Oui. Pour ces deux recettes, c'est la même chose. On va d'abord découper la coquille. Le ventre d'un crabe avec des ciseaux de cuisine. Um, there's a lot of data, data noise. Um, like, looks sounds like Ritty and. Yeah, no. See that fine tune works really, really well. I'm surprised. It's really good. The only thing I, I'm a bit concerned about is that that noise, that little scratchy noise on the pot, on the regen control. I might replace it with a better quality one. This camera is fucking useless. Let's see. Oh, I thought we were an amateur then. Yeah, this received have posed many problems for me. It's my first one that I've built that uses transistors. When I was, you know, I ain't been in the hobby for a while. But we used, me and my dad used to do valve, you know, with the regen control, generative receiver. We used to wind the coil, build the chassis and everything. You know, just just like this, like an L shape. You know, just to get you going. I used to have many hours of fun on that. Quite pleased with it. 
I want to do something else now. <laughs> I don't think I'm. A, I was going to build a transmitter, you know, transceiver for um, for doing Morse, but I don't think I'm allowed to on my license because I'm a foundation license holder. I don't think I'm a, allowed to const construct my own. I have to buy it as a kit. But I'd love to do that. I'm in the process of learning Morse code at the moment. It's something I want to get into. But it's it seems I mean see that wobble. It's squirrely. I might put some brackets at the side there to stabilise it. Yeah, that, that'll make a difference I reckon. I know it looks a bit scruffy. But it works and I'm really chuffed. I, mean, I don't know if this will focus on the circuit board properly. So. Oh, nearly. Let's see if I can do it manually. Okay. Oh, that's, that's better. I mean, it ain't the greatest. I've tried to take care of the layout and that. Keep everything short. So I think the first time I tried it, I did the wires was a bit long. But when you work when you're working on something, you, you need a bit of space to move around the board. And if everything's in, you know everything's short, you can't move things around. So you can you know check for dry solder joints, things like that. Yeah, I love this. I love this slight ugly construction. It's brilliant just to get something going. Really pleased. It's made my day. It just fired into life all of a sudden, and I thought, wow. I'm going to. I wonder if I can build another LM. 386 amplifier put it into this box then for extra audio I mean it don't sound like it needs it at the moment but sometimes I could do it a bit more I do miss that squeal <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? What you can achieve, what you can achieve with few, few components and circuit diagram. It's brilliant. I mean, this, this is the beginner skate radio, I think. I believe. Um, Yeah. yeah, that's meant to be the layout of it. But I wonder what improvements I could make to it. Maybe a, you know, like a preamp. Mind you, it probably swamp it, won't it? I mean, I did. I didn't use any of those for the, for the detector, which is the diode down here. I used the old germanium one. Oh, I'm doing it again, isn't it? no focus. But anyway, um, so let's see. I'll put it back on auto. Yeah, I used, oh, yeah. I used one of those. Kept the wire short on it again. I think that's important. Really important. I didn't I didn't take that on board enough, I don't think. When he says, sh I think it's N1TEV, is it? The circuit this belongs to. And anyway, 
when he says short he means short uh, you know no length on them at all <laughs> and it seemed to do the trick so I think the key is don't give up if, it, if you're building one of these and it, it doesn't work the first time or the second time just keep at it that, that's the trick and just learn from your mistakes I'm really pleased with it. I can't understand what they're saying in mind. But I don't care. I've made something. Yeah. I mean, before I couldn't even put a ground on it. Because when I put a ground on it, I've got um, a copper pipe like this. <laughs> And, and soldered a cable, cable to it and hit it into the ground as far as I could so this but, na but now brings it alive I wasn't having that before excellent <laughs> there he is Looking for someone else to build now, and I can have this going in the background while I'm working on it. That, that poor man's va variable tuning is brilliant. It uses a diode. Reverse. Can't remember the technical term for it anyway, but it reverse. Bias is Wow, very chill. We even got myself a telescopic antenna screwed to the back. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you. <laughs> Bye. To the next project. I just stop this thing.